Hello, William. How are you? I'm good, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Tell me, how was your holiday? Uh, to rest all day. You were resting all day long? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, I can imagine. You took advantage of the vacation so you could rest. Yes, yes. Este, uh, right now, teacher, este, I dine. Oh, you having dinner? Enjoy your dinner, don't worry. I dine here with um, dinner? Yes, having dinner. Don't worry. I'll, we'll talk later. Este, en unos minutos, okay? No, no problem, teacher. Es, es, es one conversation. Okay, perfect. That's nice. That's nice. So, and today you went back to work. Yes. Okay. How was your day? Did you have a good day at work? Uh, many activities uh, during the jornada during my shift during my shift uh, many activities este, as, as always yes yeah, as usual i can imagine there's always a lot to do at work what there's always a lot to do at work siempre hay mucho que hacer en el trabajo sí, yes uh, always uh, every day teacher is the, uh, in the morning is a wall in the dog really that's nice yeah. every day uh, oh, 5 a.m at 5 a.m at 5 a.m and that's hard uh, <clears throat> ya estoy acostumbrado. But, How do you say? I am used to it. I, I used to uh, make a uh, five uh, a.m. Okay. Because it's the one in the two 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 packs. Oh, you got two. Two packs, yes. Hmm. Okay, okay. It, That's it is, nice. Uh, yes, two me. packs uh, in between uh, two packs uh, eating one dollar tortilla. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. Some comelone. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> well, you got big dogs. Yes. Yeah, in my case, I got a small one, very small doll. So a okay. little bit of food is enough. French? No, it's a, uh, I don't know, it's a uh, chihuahua de pelo largo, something like that. Uh, beautiful pegs. This um, I actually like big dogs, but my wife, she likes small dogs. She doesn't like big dogs. If it uh, were just for me, I would love a big dog. I like them big. You have money to turn. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. 
No, I don't. I have a lot of work and a lot to pay. Mucho trabajo y mucho que pagar. Hey, William, welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Thank you, too. Hey, Walter, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Hi, Walter. I am, I am happy. All right. <laughs> because we... Yes, because of time. Oh, and you had to work yesterday, right? You didn't yes, have the job? Yes, teacher. A uh, lot of money. A lot oh, of that's money. Why. Oh, yeah, because it was a holiday. What you got? Double pay or triple pay? Double. No, double. Double, double pay. Yeah. Double pay. Well, that's yes. good. I mean, extra yes. money is always good. Yes. <laughs> I'm happy. Uh, uh, all the people uh, we have payment. I'm happy to my company. <laughs> okay, okay, and you got payday today. Yes. yes sure. Oh, that's nice. And that's today. nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's always good. Uh, well, at least we get we fulfill our commitments. Complimos los compromisos, and that's very important. Yes, teacher. Then my department is uh, all the people is the responsibility, and all the people uh, very responsible. That's good when your co-workers are responsible. When your team is responsible, it's always good. Cuando el equipo es responsable es bueno. I mean, you can yes. work better. You can work better and you are like less stress. Hasta con menos stress, well, I yeah. imagine. Uh, um, imagine uh, and imagine and um, today and um, augment the payments. Yes. It's covered. Oh, okay. Good. And my partners and me. Uh, and augment the payment. Oh, that's yes. nice. <laughs> oh that's my nice. God, uh, Walter, I am happy, happy, happy. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Well, Walter, yeah. welcome uh, to the class. Thank you very much. You're welcome, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Hey, Daniel, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, is you? I'm just fine. Thank you very much. How was your day? My day was uh, busy but relaxing at the same time because oh, we cool. were working. Yeah, we were working at the project, but not with that much hurry. Okay. And what about yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Yesterday was a holiday. Did you take the holiday? Yes. Yeah, we we take the holiday and rest all the day. Okay, we took. Remember, we, we took. took. Yeah. That's nice. It's always good to rest. I mean, you work a lot, you also need to rest. Yeah, and that and that was too because if we work uh, the project. Uh, we will have to pay about two hundred dollars extra at the employees for the day. So yeah. uh, it's better for the day two that they can have uh, rest. Yeah, I mean it's it's they work a lot. They fulfill. It's always good if they got enough time to rest so they can perform well the next day yes that's important and yeah i mean it's it's a reciprocal situation it works good for them so they work good for you yeah and in the same well in the same way of of that we eh, llegamos a un acuerdo we got no we reach Okay, hold on. 
I'll text it to you. We reach, we reach and uh, agreement. We reach an agreement. We we reach an agreement that the starting shift of work were at 7 a.m. So uh -huh. at 3 p.m. they can uh, oh. leave. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, because uh, oh, of course, I told to them too that in one moment we are a, a little atrasados, delayed, delayed. Uh, they will have to make some extra hours. So they tell me that that will be no problem. Yeah, I mean, that's good because that way they are like working, they are like going out early. And if there's, if it's necessary to work extra time, I mean, you got the, uh, let's see, how do you say that? You got the, the, the time space so where you can fit those extra hours. Yes, yes, that's that's important. And that's that yeah. that's, that's what the idea. Want. Yes. Yeah, because if they finish at three, but you got extra work, I mean they can stay up to four, five, two extra hours, and it's not yes. too late for them. Yes. And that's cool. That's a nice policy of your company. And the good thing is that you got the agreement. You got an agreement with them. Yeah. Yeah, everything works better when you can communicate like that with your Yeah, people. that's really important. Yeah, because I mean, good communication with the people, it's very, very important when we are talking about working. Yes. So how okay perfect well daniel thank you very much i'm so sorry i was just checking nicolas message perfect yeah perfect. thank you thank thank you very much mister let's see martha hello martha how are you hi teacher i'm good and you well here you know same old story Another day, another dollar. <laughs> okay, teacher. And how are you? How's everything? I'm good, teacher. I am a little tired, but I am ready for the class, teacher. That's excellent. That's excellent. And tell me, how was yesterday for you? Did you have a day off or not? No, teacher, my day was as uh, expected because oh. because in oh you work Dominican with the store. with the yeah you work with the calendar of Dominican Republic, right? Yes, yes. There oh, were was a regular emergence, day for you. Emergence uh, at war. So emergencies. Emergencies. Emergencies at war. So I worked yesterday, teacher. I worked. I worked. I worked yesterday. Oh. <laughs> but everything was well. Okay, that's fine. That's excellent. It's excellent that you had the the, the opportunity to to work. I mean. Yes, a lot of yes. people is looking for jobs right now, and you yes. got the opportunity, you got to take care of it. Yes, yes, I know. But so, after that, uh, I went to dinner with my friends. Oh, that's I cool. need a rest. Um, oh, yeah, you, you, had, you had a vacation from me, you didn't have a class with me. Yes, so you of were course, like, Yeah, free day. I <laughs> I went to dinner, teacher. <laughs> I went to have dinner. I went to have dinner. 
Yeah, you were like, yeah, no class, yeah, no English yeah. class. Yeah, let's party. Oh, so mm -hmm. bad, so bad. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine, Martha. No, but and actually this, this, pose, this pose is nice because, I mean, it gives us time. We have been like together for 19 days, then a little pause because we are finishing next Thursday. Vamos Thursday. Para la próxima semana. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that means that we still have a lot to go. Tenemos mucho por cubrir. And I mean, it's these courses are longer, so they take a lot of time. And, and it's a little bit tiresome for you guys. Un poquito cansado para ustedes. Me, let's see, what did I do yesterday? Man, yesterday was it a good day, a bad day? Hmm. Let me see. You work. Let me see. Worked. No, actually, I didn't. What? I didn't work. I don't And believe. I just, yeah, I, well, I spent almost my whole afternoon reading. Then, well, actually, I had a meeting yesterday. It was a short meeting, just like two hours. And then, let's see, watching some TV. Excellent and, teacher. And I went to bed early that's weird you know it was so weird for me because i was having dinner at 8 p.m i was like wow it's so early, early. <laughs> yeah i usually have dinner like 10 30 11 after the so, class uh -huh. yeah after the class so i was like man it's so weird for me excellent teacher well yeah and tomorrow i have a lot of work to do i need oh. to I need to work with the Same computer story. <laughs> all day long. Yeah, but tomorrow is working on the computer. So I got to get into the platform and get in a lot of data. It's going to be stressful. Thank you very much, Martha. Nice talking Thank to you. Thank you. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see. Let's see. Hello, Marcella. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. How's everything? Yeah. I'm just fine, just fine. Tell me, how was yesterday for you? Uh, what's a good day? I went right. to San Vicente. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, you told me you were going to Verapaz, right? Yes. Okay, yes, how was it? I, I, nice uh, what's good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's a, a good trip? That's excellent. Tell me, what time did you came back to San Salvador? Um, like 4 p.m. Oh, early. Yeah, uh, my family not, don't like um, get at home so night, uh, in, oh, in the, at night. At night. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, you prefer to be home early. They prefer, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, in my case, it's different. Whenever we go out as a family, we always come back late. <laughs> yes. no, we probably don't like that. Uh, for yeah. traffic or more for yes. the weather, the, the, yeah. there was so like, um, como que fuera llover. Looked and... like it would rain. It looked. <laughs> Okay, hold on. It looked like it would rain. But I see I it's like it like rain. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, you decided to come back early. Yeah. Yeah, it's a must for that. <laughs> okay, well. The good thing is that you were home early, safe, safe yeah. and sound. That's always good. And you are now today in the class. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Marcella, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Oh, teacher. Yes, tell uh, me. Just told me that she write you. Uh, Text for me. A, uh -huh. uh, for oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. I got it. Uh -huh. 
Okay. I got it. Thank Don't you. Worry. You're welcome. Let's see who else is around. Who else is around? Maria Alejandra. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm Good fine. Evening. You? I'm just fine. Where's the French fries? <laughs> Today, I don't, I didn't, I didn't. eat them. I didn't eat That's bad. French That's fries. bad. But French yesterday, I did. <laughs> okay, cool. And tell me, how was yesterday night for you? You didn't have a class. What did you do? Mm. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. Come on. <laughs> ah, I see the, I saw the, the Assyrian series in Netflix. Okay, I watched. I watched a series in Netflix, Night One One, for the okay. Torres de Mela. Oh, really? Interesting. Um, and I tried to prepare a, uh, Tortitas de broccoli. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> yes, but I don't remember that broccoli is killed me. <laughs> broccoli, I don't eat broccoli. Oh, uh, I try yes. to eat the different vegetables because I don't eat a lot of vegetables, <laughs> but no funcionó. I don't know. It didn't work. It didn't work mm. for me. <laughs> yeah, you know. Well, that. that's good that you were trying something new at the kitchen. Hey, you were working yesterday, right? Yeah. A normal I... day for you. Yeah. And how was it? How was today for you? A good mm. day, an easy day, or a hard day? Um, a hard day. I have really? I have a lot of work, but a lot of the sellers make to sell when lo que no habían vendido, ¿cómo se dice? What they hadn't. When we they hadn't in two days uh, before before. Yeah, so they uh, were they were running. Yes, but it's normally. Um, yeah. it's, it's the same all the day. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's part of the job. I relax me when I don't have a lot of work and I, and I prepare my mind when I have a lot of work. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. To be prepared, to get a good mindset, to have a good mindset uh -huh. towards your job. Mentalidad, uh -huh. mindset. That's yeah. always cool. Thank you very much, Maria Alejandra, and welcome to the class. You're welcome, teacher. Susana, hello, how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm, I'm just fine. fine. Just fine. What about you? How was your day, Susana? A good day? Um, yes, teacher. I uh, relaxing. <laughs> okay, it's a and day what about you? What about yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Ah, uh, yesterday um, I went to the party. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Um, uh, the, the boy, no, girlfriend, my son, uh, uh, has a has, uh, birthday. Oh, really? That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, yes. Uh, I, 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 we, 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 um, we, we, we stayed. Yes. Stay, we stayed at uh, uh, her, her house, uh, her house. Mm -hmm. At her house. At her house. Uh -huh. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, the good thing is that you're here ready for the class. Thank you very much, Susan. I'm sorry, but I need to get the attendance. 
Okay. Let me Thank get you. the attendance, guys. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Hmm, that's weird. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Not here either. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Is here. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Martha Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Néstor, hmm. no here. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you, Nicolás. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Thank you. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Silvia is... Present, teacher. Thank you, Silvia. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Thanks. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. And Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's continue. Just let me check on a little something here. Hmm. This is nice, 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 nice. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I still got some minutes to for the greeting. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Janira, how are you? How's it going? Hi, teacher. I'm really good because- oh, Really? Yeah, yeah, because yesterday was a holiday and today was uh, my day off. Oh my gosh, two days in a row. Yeah. Uh, I, I was- Today was really busy because I sold a lot of stuff, a personal stuff, but was good. Okay, well, it's always good at least to take up your mind of some of the stuff you always see every day on your job, I imagine. Yes, I, I, I changed my routine today, then was very different. I Really, I wake up. I wake up uh, very early because I wake up at uh, five thirty, and I drove for two hours. But was okay. Was very okay uh, today. I saw a lot of stuff. Then was okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, but man, five there in the morning, that's terrible. <laughs> yes, I know, teacher, but it was a different day. Then it's okay. And I'm here, ready for the class. Yeah, well, in my case, if I wake up I, at five ten in the morning, I'm like, oh, no, terrible, terrible. I usually wake up like quarter to six or six, and that's okay for me. But if I wake up around 5 or 4 30, man, my day is horrible. You are down all, all day. You feel down. Well, no, it's just that I feel the day is so long. Ah, okay, okay. Because, because your battery is, 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 is low. 
No, because I mean, I always go to sleep pretty late. I mean, if I wake up at five or 4.30, I'm just sleeping like three hours and I hate that. Uh, I mean, for me sleeping five hours is okay. <laughs> five hours is something that I can live with, but to sleep just a little bit, man, that kills me, really kills me. Your body is confirmed with this time for, for sleep. Yeah. To get yeah. energy in five hours. Yeah, actually, if I oversleep, uh, sometimes I feel bad. Really? If you sleep yeah. more than five hours, you, you feel, I feel bad? Like uncomfortable. Mm, okay. And sometimes a, I feel how say, sleepy. Yes, yes. How do you say uh, es una costumbre? It's a custom, it's a habit. It's a habit. Okay, it's a habit. Yeah, it's, it's a habit. Maybe, maybe your body is, is well. Yeah, hope so. <laughs> Thank well, you, Janina. Welcome. Maybe someday yeah. your body le pase la factura. <laughs> yeah, I know it will happen. I know it will happen. Thank you very yeah. much and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Roxana, hello, how are you? Hi, good evening. I'm fine. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Today it was a busy day, but everything was okay in my work, in my, my, my house. I had a lot of cases in my email and a lot of uh, phone calls, but I mm. try to solve. And yesterday I take in a rest, a little rest. In the morning, I wake up late around I 9 a.m. I wake up walk. around, walk, woke up around 9 a.m., I guess. Um, then uh, I take uh, I took, I took. The, the, I took <laughs> sorry I took the breakfast and then uh, I go out with, with my mother to looking for a washer machine and I finally I bought it I bought oh that's good you finally got it yeah today uh, they uh, la trajeron ¿Cómo sería? brought it Bro, it. No, like this. Hold on. Bro, it. Bro, bro, it. Bro, it. Yes. So uh, I have a washing machine now, but it's in connect maybe tomorrow or Saturday, but I have one. That's so cool. I don't need to wash by myself. myself. So I yeah. have a lot of. The, uh, washing by hand yeah. is tedious. Washing yeah. by hand, everything is tedious. Yeah. Sería eh, te, tedioso, es eso, verdad? Yeah. Tedious. Yeah, yeah tedious. it's very complicated because you need a lot of time to do it. And water. Mm -hmm. And patient, because in my case, I have uh, two. Volcan, volcano de ropa. Volcanoes. <laughs> Volcanoes. <laughs> because my son changed her his uh, clothes around two or three times in a, in in one day. Oh, so it's really? very complicated. Uh -huh. mm. I try to don't uh, use a lot of uh, clothes because when okay hold on hold I, on hold on i try not to wear i try wear, not sorry. to wear many clothes. i try i try don't wear not uh, to wear not to wear not to wear many clothes many clothes because in my case i am working at home and just need pajamas or something like that 
<laughs> yeah, I was thinking exactly that, like like Maria Alejandra. I mean, you work on your pages. Mm, yeah. So, but um, now I have a lot of uh, dirty clothes, but uh, I have a washer machine and it's okay. I'm happy. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, doing the laundry by hand is hard. It's pretty yeah. hard. Tell me about it. So, and in the afternoon, um, I go out with my best friend and taking a lunch, and I, then I stay at home. Okay, that's nice. Everybody yeah. went out to have lunch. That's cool. Yeah, it's, uh, you were relaxed. It's tedious. It's tedious are all the time in your house. Uh, yeah, well, it is. It is staying at home all the time. It's like uh, boring. For me, it's yeah. like stressful. Me too. For me, it's quite stressful, but sometimes you have to. I mean, there's no choice. Yeah. Well, thank you, Roxana. Nice talking okay. to you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see. Oh, before I forget, let me see. Let me see. Uh, uh, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia, say present, please. Hello, teacher. Say present, please, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa. I just got the attendance. And thank you, teacher. Got, thank you, Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just that I want to get the attendance ready. Let's see, and I got everybody. Well, welcome everyone to the class. Today we have, uh, well, we have a lot of work to do, but actually, and that's why I'm going to cut the, the, the little speaking practice because we have many activities for tonight and it's going to be fun. Okay, let's see, let's see. We're going to be talking uh, among yourself in groups. First of all, we are going to cover an exercise. Hold on. We are going to be covering an exercise from page number thirty, exercise seven, and then we need to cover some exercises from page thirty-one. We have a reading exercise, which is going to be very, very interesting, and. Then we are going to get into vocabulary. Man, we have many things to do. So we are going to start right now with page number 30 in your manuals, exercise seven. Let me explain that to you. See, here we go. Okay, we got Read the following situations and discuss with a partner about the actions a manager could have done to improve or to solve them. Number one, money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can tell who is taking it. Number two, someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the servers has reported the issue. Number three, my customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food. Number four, the kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. Number five, the schedule is a mess and is very difficult for staff to understand it. Okay, guys, we have five different situations. How are we going to deal with them? Okay, the exercise says, I just sent you the image. The exercise says this, 
you're going to be working in pairs and I need you to give me one suggestion for each of the situations. What are you going to use? You're going to use should have, could have, would have, do you remember? In order to give me suggestions, strong suggestions, okay? So let me divide you in groups. Let's see. Okay, groups are created, guys. You're going to be working in groups of three members each. Let's see, let me check all the groups. Perfect. Okay. Groups are created. Please jump in. Remember, just one suggestion. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Disappearing mm -hmm. from the registry machine, but I can't tell who is talking. It. Talking. I, it. I can tell taking it. Taking it. Taking. Mm -hmm. Taking. Yeah, not the most. Okay. But mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's no, no, it's clear if I can tell who is taking it because I don't know who who is. Okay, so I don't so want. Your idea is you need to give me a, an action that I could take so we can improve or solve the situation. Money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can tell who is taking it. So you can tell me, oh. You should, you should have installed a camera. You should have review. Yeah, review the record should, of the camera. Yeah, that would be. And then you jump to number two. Ah, okay. One Remember, per, it's per just each. one. Yeah, ah, one per, okay. exactly. Hello, guys. Hi, teacher. Any question with the exercise? Mm -hmm. I believe there is no question. Remember, you just need to give me one suggestion per situation, okay? Just one. Okay. Like in the first one, uh, I mean, money is being stolen from the, from the register, from the cashier. So you can tell me, oh, you should have installed a camera yeah, that's the, exactly what I think. Okay, and then and maybe for remember. the second one too. Okay, perfect. Continue, guys. I'll be back. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know, say, uh, for example, the base, the base of, of money for the uh, began the Cortes. day. Cortes. Uh -huh. yes. Corte. Teacher, how do you say uh, Cortes de Caja? Let me see. I know that word. Yo conozco esa expresión. Uh, give me a second, I'm thinking. Uh, uh, um, mm, 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 mm. You mean the 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 one that we do at the end of the day, right? Oh. Estamos hablando. Estamos hablando de qué hacemos al final del día, verdad? Eh, sí, correcto. Okay, we say that. Uh, uh, man, you always get me with these expressions. Uh, Let's see. Closing. Closing yes. cashier. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a closing. It's a closing. Cutting, cutting cashier. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the end of the day. Closing. The end but of the you day. Can, closing. But you can use that... Um, you can use, eh, eh, the, usted, o sea, nosotros podemos ocupar los cortes de caja no solo el final del día. No, you can also control. do a, yes, you can do a monthly or by monthly. No, in the rest of the day. Oh, Sometimes okay. if, when you are, when you are in a. Um, yeah, eh, like in supermarkets, in supermarkets, yeah, they, they do they like have, every shift. Yes. Okay. Closing. In this case, you can say periodically, periodical closings. Okay, a periodical closing. Okay, thank you. Mm, three. And the second is someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but no, none. Of the server has reported the issues. E issues. ¿Cómo es esa palabra, teacher? Issues. Issues. Asunto. Issues. Mm. Roxana, box cut. Box es box cut. Box cut. Box cut. Okay. That's corte de thank caja. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Roxana. Hola. In the, in, the second, in the second one, it will be, it, it will. Uh, in the, for the future, the, 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 the best way to, to man, maintain some, the cashiers or for prevent the similar situation in the future, I think uh, Janita says is uh, the best idea. Because you can um, resolve the problem with a polygraph, but the but you don't have exempt in the future the the, the, the same situation as a, how do you say repeat teacher? Repeat. repeat. Yes. Repeat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in the future, the same uh, the same situation can be uh, repeat. It's, it's not, uh, maybe it's not happening again because it's a dissuasive form to to solve maybe. Yes, I think so. Polygraph is is a word formula. Okay. Teacher. Yes, miss. We we gave you one suggestion or one, for one question or one suggestion per 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 one question. Per situation, yes. Okay. Uh 
Apo finish teacher. <laughs> you finish. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Okay, let me check the other groups. Solo que quería decirles, no. And we solve the instruction. Uh, and to the bartender, the X, the one who removes and bought it. And bottles. Nina, bottles. Bottles. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, there's a party going on here. Yeah. <laughs> Teacher, how do you say corte de caja? Box cut. <laughs> really? Nosotros no pensamos que era así. You can also say Literal. register closing. Ah, register ah. closing. And when you say cash out, what the meaning? Cash out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Depending on context. Ahí no va a depender mucho del contexto. Where have you heard this? ¿Dónde lo ha visto? Hey, Marcela search in the internet. <laughs> and the internet say. Mm, but cash, cash out. out. I mean, cash out es cobrar. Ah. Well, it's not from the supermarket. Yeah, cash out is cobrar. It's like, uh, oh, I will cash out on on the money you owe me. Okay. Cash closing cash and box cut. It's the same. Register closing and box cut. Yeah, could be the same. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Hurry up. One minute. Okay. Do you have checked the check the work out in the different ship? Yeah. And the other? Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see.
let's see we got we got let's see five different situations one of them says okay the first situation goes like this money has disappeared from the register machine but i can tell who is taking it so we have a situation right there now let's see from this group let's see claudia tell me what can we do in this situation money money has disappeared from the register machine but i can tell who is taking it what should i do mm, they they could have checked the security cam camera 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 uh-huh they show how check who is the cashier that registered closing it's okay. good yeah it's okay perfect thank you very much okay. now let's see the second situation someone brought three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant but none of the servers has reported the issue okay amber tell me what could we do in this situation number two sorry teacher eh, esa no la pude hacer okay no problem thank you amber let's see let's see let's see fernando what do we do in number two tell me you could have discounted the three bottles to all servers Ooh. you could discount the the cost of the three bottles from all the servers yeah and it's the best wine oh that's expensive thank you very much fernando third situation my customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food okay now what do we do in that situation let's see uh, francisco what do you think we could do there mm, uh, uh, i think uh, better is you could apologize and okay. give a discount in the next the next time of, of order okay for the next order excellent thank you very much number four the kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room Oof, that's a problem let's see what do you think about that carlos what could i do Teacher, sorry, I don't know. Um, has been taking a stop. Ha estado tomando cosas de la bodega. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I think in the sense. Uh, okay, I I identify uh, or you identify the, the the kitchen manager has been taking stop, and I think. You should uh, this. How do you say this? Fire. Fire. Uh -huh. I think uh, you have you have fired the, the, the personnel uh, because if you are if you be sure uh, you don't have to uh, continue with that with the personnel in your company. Okay, well, that's quite interesting. Thank you very much. Number five, the schedule is a mess and it's very difficult for staff to understand it. Let's see, what do we do in this case, Marta? Uh, in this case, we could um, write a schedule in a board uh, for a day. 
Okay. But is the is the less uh, understand for the employees? Okay. To place it on the board so everybody can see and to so it's better for them to check out their time. Excellent. Yes. Perfect. That's great. That's great, guys. I need to take again. I'm sorry. Again, the attendance. I'm Barelli Alfaro Gomez. Say present, please, Ambar. Carlos present. Antonio Murillo. Thank you, Ambar. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Here and Fabiola Georgina Silva. I'm present teacher too. Thank you, Wilfredo. Appreciate it. Thank you, Susan. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see. Before we move on, Maria Alejandra, you got a presentation today. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, perfect. It's good. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about the different tastes for food. Okay. I am a person who is often bored by repetitive food. Is the reason why usually I try to pre prepare different type of food. When I have a time or my work is not very demanding, I think the different recipes and I I have seen and I have taken and I I have said in my phone and I check uh, in the week and I always stay alone in my house and I look for what to do. <laughs> uh, in this month I have been preparing different dishes, for example, may I empanadas with with cream or with Chicken, prepare carrot pancakes, plantain cake with beans and cheese, falafel, mood cake with oatmeal and banana, green caramel, and others. All the recipes should be simple and easy because when the recipe are very complicated, I don't even, even try. Even. I like to try food for the different countries and I really like to watch videos of Japanese food. And I really like the desserts. The desserts, I will always have a space to eat one. <laughs> All my family and my boyfriend are my guinea pigs to try my food. Uh, when I can or have the possibilities, I plan to travel and know the different countries that interest me in their food. And in the future, I will, I will be able to do too and share with my family. 
Meanwhile, I will continue making easy receipt and watching videos on YouTube. <laughs> and only that. Okay, perfect. That's actually a lot. Whenever I got enough time. Okay, whenever I got enough time. Uh, whenever I got, okay. Okay, let's see. Francisco, are you ready for your presentation? Yes, teacher. Please, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Um, from the very young age, uh, I have been interested in everything related to, to space. And when I was a child, on some occasion, I say that when I was an adult, I wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> to this day, the subject continues to fascinate me. And this last, uh, this, this last year has been a very interesting, in particular this year, has is, uh, been very important for the space race. That is what I am going to tell about tonight. Sorry, tonight. Uh, 17 years ago, the struggle to colonize space was between the powers uh, of the United States and the Soviet Union. Now, they are people, visionaries, who have created companies to put humans behind in orbit. For example, uh, on July 11, of the years, uh, the company Virgin Galactic carried out a suborbital flight in which civilians uh, experienced serial gravity uh, out the border between Earth and outer space. Uh, next, then on July 20, the Blue Origi Origin Company, the richest man um, in the world. Uh, he put four civilians into orbit that for three minutes experienced zero gravity and were able to observe the curvature of the air. And yesterday, the company SpaceX launched the first mission of totally civilians who will be in space orbit for three days. Uh, this this open a door for anyone who meets the requirement to visit outer space. For the next, the next few years, there are very fascinating projects, such as uh, returning to the moon or put the first person on Mars. We went from behind a terrestrial race to behind an interplanetary race. This will certainly change the courses of humanity completed. And who knows, it may be that the next language we have to learn uh, is uh, Martian. Thanks, uh, thank you for your attention, guys. <laughs> okay, that's nice. So uh, next language for us will be Martian. That's cool. Remember, Mr. Curvature, Curvature. Okay, okay teacher, Curvature. And anyone who meets, anyone who meets. Okay. Anyone who meet. Okay, teacher, thanks. Let's see. For tomorrow, Ambar, you're going to be first tomorrow. Okay. Don't forget it. I trust in you. I know you're going to do good. Then goes Wilfredo and Fabiola. You are the three for tomorrow. Okay. Be ready. It's very interesting the topics you are addressing, guys. So let's see, let's continue with our activities sure. for today. Yes, mister? The presentation, we can make it um, about any... Any given any, topic. Uh, okay, any topic. Okay. Any Thank you, teacher. Any given topic, okay? It's any up given to topic. You. Yeah, it's okay. up to you guys. Okay. And I'm curious to see what... What are the topics you choose? So let's continue. Okay, let me share with you guys. 
and here oh hold on okay here we go then okay we have a text here that talks about surveillance technology okay this text is about surveillance technology remember we are in the manual in page number 31 exercise 2 and it goes like this most of the public discussion of surveillance technology and its use revolves around the question is it spooky or reassuring but the different issue is the effect of surveillance on behavior and a new research paper shows in detail how significant the surveillance effect can be. The researchers measure the impact of software that monitors employee-level theft and sales transactions before and after the technology was installed at 392 restaurants in 39 states. Employee theft and fraud is a big problem estimated at up to 200 billion a year across the economy. Most of the restaurant industry pays its servers low wages and they depend on tips. Employee replacement is high. In that environment, a certain amount of theft has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. A simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging the customers to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are more elaborate, but monitoring software is now available to track all transactions and detect suspicious patterns. After the installation of the monitoring software, income per restaurant increased by an average of $2,982 a week. Knowing they were being monitored, the servers not only pulled back on any unethical practices, but also channeled their efforts into, say, prompting customers to have that dessert or a second beer. Okay, this is quite an interesting text. Let me send you the picture so you can all have it for the exercise. Okay. Now, your activity guys is this. We have to discuss the answers to these questions. Why do people think surveillance is considered spooky? How many restaurants were part of the research? What is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? What is a fraud tactic used by bartenders? What was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? What was the change in behavior in the staff after monitoring software was installed okay guys now you will have for this activity 10 minutes it's a long activity i need you to discuss to answer and discuss these questions i will be passing by each group monitoring you're developing and if you got any question if you need any help please Send me a holder, say, raise your hand or text me, whatever. I, I will jump into your group specifically to help you. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's jump in. Remember, 10 minutes.
And I, I the answer is behavior. But a different issue is the effect of surveillance on behavior. And a new research paper shows in detail how, signif how significant, significant the surveillance effect can be. Okay, that's the first question. Why do people think surveillance is considered spooky? Okay, continue. Continue reading, Susan. Employees, employees, theft, theft and fraud is a big problem. Estimate, estimate at, at up to 200 mil, millions a mm -hmm. year Billion. across the economy. Okay, let me say one time in the bottom. Hello guys, how is it going? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Very concentrated. Yes, we yeah. actually understand the first uh, question. is like a scalofree or the surin is a thermometer. Well, yeah, remember mm -hmm. the text the text mostly says this okay most of the public discussion of surveillance technology and its use revolves around the question is it spooky or reassuring la vigilancia es mm, atemorizante o Lo a uno lo hace sentir seguro. But a different issue, un tema distinto, is the effect of surveillance on behavior. Okay. ¿Cuál es el efecto de la vigilancia en el comportamiento? And a new research paper shows in detail how significant the surveillance effect can be. So, in the questions we have, why do people think surveillance is considered spooky? It could be because some people think that, I mean, perhaps some people don't feel comfortable like being observed all the time. They don't and feel like afraid. And change the behavior because if you know that you are being watched, yeah, your your behavior is better because you know that someone is looking you or watching yeah, you. What, what is the correct? Looking you or wa watching you? Watching you. Watching you. Yeah, then you don't do bad thing because you know someone is watching you. I think so. I guess. Okay. Interesting. Thank you very much. Well,
continue. Hurry up, okay. guys, hurry up. Sería because people think. Because the people. People. Maybe will think. Think that um, uh, privacy is by is vile is really violentada. It's going to be violated. Uh, violated. Eso. Thank you, teacher. Privacy is violated. It's going to be. Mm, yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be. Bueno, veamos la otra. How many restaurants were part of the search? Three hundred ninety-two restaurants. How many restaurants were part of the researches? Three hundred ninety-two 90, 90 restaurants. Yes, three hundred ninety-two. Welcome to the group, Mr. Hello. So, where are you now? Por cual vamos? Maybe two and three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how many restaurants were part of the research? 392 restaurants. What is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? Two hundred billion dollars a year. Uh -huh. Okay, and number four, what is fraud tactic used by bartender? Uh -huh. Finish, guys. Do you think? No, uh, teacher. It's a difficult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, teacher, I in, in my case, I, I didn't find the reason why people think surveillance is considered spooky. So I oh, tell that my one, that one was like your opinion. Yeah, right. In in that discuss we are. Okay. Okay, Susanna. Yeah. Or Sylvie? What do you think? Um, and for me, in my opinion, for the um, Amber, hello. Who were your, who was in your group? Con quienes estaban? Uh, with Daniel y okay. Maria Lisa. I'll send you right now. I imagine you are okay. almost finished. Me imagino que casi terminaron, right? It's yes. a little bit difficult, this exercise. Yes. <laughs>
take take care. Yeah. And the customer have to the take customer. care take care of them. Customer. Espérame. Customer. Uh, the bartender does not charge you for a round of drink and get and get an extra tip. Extra tip yeah. if uh, they take care of the customer. Okay, let's see. This exercise was kind of uh, a little bit difficult, right? Let's check it out. We're going to talk about it. Let's see. Question number one stated. Why do people think surveillance is considered spooky? In this case, uh, I mean, the answer can vary because some people uh, perhaps might consider that surveillance can be an invasion to privacy, okay? Or perhaps for some people it will represent that their life is being controlled and that could make people like feel uncomfortable. That could be one reason, okay? In that one, the, it was more like open to opinions. Let's see, question number two says, how many restaurants were part of the research? Let's see, how many restaurants? Claudia, please tell me. The number one, teacher. Number two. Number two. Uh, 392 restaurants. Yes. In how many states? Uh, 32. 39. 39 states. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well done. Now let's see. Next question goes like this. Sorry. What is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? Let's see. William, tell me. Hi, teacher. Question number three. What is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? Two hundred billion a year. Two hundred billion a year. That's a lot yes. of money. Yeah, that's real yes. money. Thank you. Question number four: What is a fraud tactic used by bartenders? Let's see who's going to answer that for me. Hmm. Roxana, you got it. 
Yes. Give me a second. Ay, espérame, teacher, que se me perdió la aplicación. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No eh, the bartender, the bartender doesn't not charging for a round of drink and get an extra tip if they take care of the customer. Okay, that's interesting. Not charging customers for a round of drinks in exchange for a large tip. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Fernando, tell me, Fernando, you got number, number four. I'm sorry, number five. What was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? Um, income, income per restaurant increased by an average of $2,982 a week. Okay. And the last question, what was the change in behavior in the staff after the monitoring software was installed? Okay, let's see. That one goes to... Uh, Nicolas, you got it? Sorry, teacher. I, I you not... didn't. Okay. No problem. No problem. No problem. Let's Thank see. you, teacher. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'll help you with that one, guys. In the last one, employees stopped applying unethical practices and started implementing upselling techniques like offering uh, the dessert or offering the second beer. Okay, those were some strategies. Now, next exercise. We're gonna jump to next exercise, guys. Let me show you what the exercise is about. Oopsie Daisy, where am I? Oops, I'm sorry. Just need to fix a little something here. Okay, I will share a screen with you guys. Okay, we got here building vocabulary. We have to match the words to their meanings. If necessary, we need to go back to the passage to check your answers. Okay. I'll give you three minutes here. I'm going to be sharing the screen with you and I'll give you three minutes to complete it. And then we're going to do it together. I'm going to read the vocabulary. Surveillance, re reassure, behavior, theft, wish, tip, spooky, the way someone acts, the action or, cri or crime of stealing, the amount of money paid to an employee, something that causes fear or nervousness is to remove someone's doubts and fears. The act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. To give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. Okay, let's see, let's do it. Ambar, you here with me? Yes. 
Okay, Amber, help me out. What is surveillance? Uh, okay, is the, the act of watching someone closely to detect crime. Perfect, Ambar. Thank you very much. The act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. Very good pronunciation. Thank you. Number two, reassure. Let's see, let's see. Reassure. Who's going to help me with this? Daniel, what is reassure? Daniel, you here with me? Sorry, teacher. I was in a call. Okay. Perfect. No problem. I'm asking you what is reassure? Why, which one do you think is to reassure? Maybe. to remove someone's doubts or fears? To remove someone's doubts and fears. Okay, thank you very much, Daniel. Carlos, behavior, what is behavior? Behavior. The way some, someone acts. Oh. Okay, the way someone acts. Perfect, Carlos. Thank you very much. Theft. Theft. Let's see. Marcela, what is theft? The action or crime of stealing. 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 The action or crime of stealing. That's theft. Perfect, Marcela. Let's see, Maria Luisa, wish. What is wish, Maria Luisa? Maria Luisa, hello. Okay, let's see. Mm, Wilfredo, can is, you help us? With... Oh, Nicolas, perfect. Sure. What is wish? Uh, the amount of money paid to an employee. An employee. An employee. Employee. Yes, employee. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Let's see. Next. Next is Wilfredo. Tip. What is tip? Tip, to give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. Perfect. Excellent. To give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. And number seven, spooky. Spooky. Okay, that one is easy, right? Something that causes fear or nervousness. Something that causes fear or nervousness is spooky. So let's see, we got again, surveillance, the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. Reassure, to remove someone's doubts and fears. Behavior, the way someone acts. Theft, the action or crime of stealing. Wage, the amount of money paid to an employee. Tip, to give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. Spooky, something that causes fear or nervousness. Excellent, guys. Very, very well done. Now, I will erase this. Okay. Now, the next exercise, guys. Okay, it says here that you have to write a 10-line paragraph to say whether you are in favor or against employee surveillance at your workplace. You have to state at least three reasons to support your position. Okay, we are going to do it in a little bit different way. 
you're going, I'm going to send you again to working groups. And as a group, I need you to decide if you are in favor or surveillance or against. First thing. First, you are going to decide if you are in favor or against. Take one position, okay? And give me three reasons. Let's do it like this. So it's going to be better for you and easier for you. Let's see. Groups, group number one, Claudia, Daniel, Maria Luisa, and Silvia. You are in favor. Group number two, Amber, Francisco, and Maria Alejandra, you are against, okay? Group number three, Carlos, Wilfredo, and Shanira, you are in favor. Group number four, Jose Osorio, Marcela, Nuila, and Walter, you are against. Group number five, Fernando, Roxana, and Susana, you are in favor. And group number six, Marta, Nicolás, and William, you are in favor. So what am I asking you? Three reasons why you are in favor or against, okay? So let's do it. You're going to have five minutes to give me those three reasons, please. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay. I'm you sorry. To... If we are going against or in favor. You're going to be in group number four. Lo voy a mandar primero al grupo tres y luego al grupo four. One in favor, two against, three in favor, four against. You are against, okay? Okay. Stephanie, Jason. Hello. Hello, Sylvia. Your group number one. So you are in favor of surveillance in your company. Okay. Okay. So what you are going to do is this. You are going to give me three reasons why you are in favor. Okay. Why your group is in favor. Okay. So there's you... Claudia and Maria Luisa. Daniel, couldn't get into the group? Uh, no, teacher, I don't know why. Okay, let me send you to another group then. So you can practice. There it goes.
score. Maybe. The teacher is 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 guilty. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did I do now? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> nothing. Nothing, teacher. I, I don't say. Yanira, it's a violence. <laughs> Did you finish, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, for this, for, for this exercise, you, you said that we are in agree, but really, I, I'm not. I against. What is the correct pronunciation, teacher? I don't agree. Yeah, but you say against in contra or disagree teacher disagree yes agree. Yeah, like but, disagree. but you say but you use another oh, word against against against, against. Uh, repeat yeah, please against I, I can hear you against 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 okay yeah. against it means en contra en contra yes i know but i i, I don't know how to what is the correct pronunciation? A against. 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 Okay, okay. I against, but for this exercise, I am agree. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So usually you are against that. You don't like people like in surveillance. Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't like it. I talk with Carlos and Wilfredo that when I was in a uh, office, I have cameras up my head and behind me, and it's very uncomfortable. My yeah, it is behavior, uncomfortable. Yeah, my, my behavior it's not natural. Was, yeah, my my behavior was good, but it's uncomfortable. I don't know. Feel yeah, I, know. I feel nervous. I don't know. I, it's weird. Yeah, I know what you mean. You have to be quiet, Janira. Yeah, she Always? had to. Always? Uh -huh. Yeah, no comments. Let's go back. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I got a lot of people here. Let's see. Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. Long time not talking to you. Hello, teacher. Okay, Sylvia, tell me, are you against or in favor of cameras, people watching you while you work? Um, I think I am in favor. Uh, okay, because, give me one reason. Um, because... Um, if you have the control of the of the employees or about what's happening in the in the company, and also you avoid like uh, misunderstandings, you avoid that, for example, a thief, a fraud, and when you want to prove something, you have evidence. That's okay. why I think it's good to to have cameras in the workplace. Excellent. Thank you very much. You. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Wilfredo, what do you think about it? Tell me, what's your opinion? Are you in favor or against employee surveillance? It depends, teacher, because if we are working in some area that the strategic, it is necessary to, to put some camera, it is it is necessary but sometimes we are working some places that it is stressful because you can you have to be very very careful because okay some uh, some boss can tell you hey you have to be quiet in syria or not depend because in my yeah, job you don't you wouldn't I, feel comfortable yes yes but we we have to be quiet and um for me in my job always i like to to make my job funny and okay. i like to i like to 
I in like my... to have fun. I like to yeah. have fun in my job. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. A good opinion. Thank you very much. Amber, what do you think? Are you in favor or against? Against. Okay, please explain to me why. Uh, well, in my partners and me, we think is it's not a good idea because the company should apply the filters in the moment when they hire the people for employees. As employee. As, as employees. Eh, como se, eh, how do you say, as you evitaría entender que están los vigilando todo el tiempo? To avoid. ¿Cómo? To how? avoid. To, to avoid. avoid having to watch them all the time. To avoid having to watch all the time. Because I think it's a bad environment in, in the company. Eh, how do you say estar todo el tiempo vigilados? Yeah, it's, it's actually not good for the company. I mean, it's not good for the people. I understand you completely. To be, that expression is this. To be all the time under surveillance. To be all the time under surveillance. Yep. Okay, thank you, nice opinion. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, what do you think of this? Uh, Nicolas, what's your opinion on it? Well, uh, in my group, the in, um, our opinion is important because helps help in the work and any emerging for the customer or employees. Okay, it can be good for an emergency. Yeah. There's some situations and where it, it is necessary. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a nice point of view. For emergencies, yes, it could be good. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, guys, oh my gosh, I need to get the attendance. I'm sorry. So let's see, Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveta Sancio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Okay, guys, let's see. Just a few reminders. Uh, tomorrow is the due date for the document, all the paperwork for you to send it if you haven't yet. Remember, eh, repito en español, solamente un recordatorio. El día de mañana es, tenemos fecha límite para aquellos que envían personalmente los documentos. 
los que envía la compañía, pues siempre es bueno verificar si todo está en orden, ¿verdad? Eh, cualquier duda o comentario, estamos a la orden. Thank you very much. I expect to see you tomorrow. And don't forget, tomorrow, Ambar, Wilfredo, and Fabiola, ¿ok? See you guys. Have a good night. Thank you for being in good class. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oops, Amber was supposed to be here. Okay, let's see. Let's report to my boss that uh, nobody stay here. Well, let's see. Check it out. Everything goes okay.
Well, the time's up. Nobody appeared tonight. Let's hope tomorrow we have somebody for this 101 extra section, which is always good for everybody to practice. It was a good class. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.